Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're gonna be talking about whether the toe trick still works and is it even worth doing? And the simple answer to that is yes and no. Um, basically, you don't get any of the advantages that we've got before in terms of the acceleration, the crazy straight line speed, but for at least me and my personal experience, I feel as if the cars just handle a lot better with your toe, maybe not max on some cars, some, some cars don't have to actually go maximum on the negative toe, but generally speaking, it just has a better feel to the game. Um, for me, I tried the Honda without the toe and the car just felt terrible. Like, it just felt like it just been completely and utterly killed. The handling was horrible. The brakes were horrible. I mean, the brakes have never been great, but it just wasn't a nice feeling car to drive. I then went to max negative toe and the whole experience of the car just completely changed. It turned in nice, there's still a couple of things I don't like about the car but that's just the car in general. But it was a much more pleasant experience in driving the car. Now I found some other cars like the, the Bentley for instance. Since the patch 1.8 up to this day I still have not found what I would like to make that car feel the way it used to to me personally for someone who used to drive it constantly i just feel like that that feeling just it just doesn't feel as nice to drive for me personally so in the bentley i've lost like all pace i literally cannot get a lap time out of that car anymore um in the audi actually in the audi what i tend to do is i tend to actually go max negative toe on the rear and i'll go like one click uh lighter on the front so it'll be like minus 3.9 or minus 3.8 um on the front toe and that seems to level out the car a little bit man it seems to actually balance it quite nicely um i've seen others in the ferrari in the lambo using negative toe to make the car feel the way they want and also cars like the amg which seems to definitely be still benefiting in some in some way from the negative toe like as i said you're definitely not getting the straight line speed from it you're not getting the crazy acceleration or anything like that but in terms of just the handling of the car, it feels so much better. And I'm not too sure why, you know. Um, I would think that, you know, kudos for me personally, like my personal opinion on um, how, you know, how the cars feel since patch 1.8. I'm extremely happy with the way how the tires uh, are reacting to, you know, you know, if you're, if you're doing an hour long race or an hour and a half race and you pit, you decide to pit early, you then know you have to really manage your tyres because the guys that do pit later, even if it's only five or ten minutes, they are going to have an advantage towards the end of the race. And I sort of like that strategic element to it. It's something that we didn't have before. Um, but right now, for sure, tyre management is definitely key since patch 1.8. With that being said, I have to be honest, I'm not talking about the force feedback or anything else here. I'm just generally talking about how the car feels, you know, turning into corners, fast corners, slow corners. I preferred the way how the cars felt on patch 1.7, if I'm being honest. I feel like on this patch without the toe, if we just get rid of the toe argument altogether, without the toe, the cars just feel lazy and a lot of them don't feel nice to drive. Um, the only car to me, that felt really nice to drive without any of the toe because you can't really do it anyway was the bmw and that was a brand new car everything else that i drove just felt off just felt weird and then we had the toe trick that came around and all of a sudden everything felt pleasant to drive again you know all the cars they turned in nicely they had nice grip through the corners and it was just a, a, a much nicer experience and um since they sort of tried to patch the toe trick and tried to fix it um I think there's different ways of you know still getting that same feeling out of the cars maybe not the cars are not quite as quick as they were at the height of the tow trick but there's definitely definitely still some um still some setup tweaks you can make that can make the car feel pretty damn good now i would say the tow trick was around some tracks was probably gaining you around about maybe five six temps per lap um and now obviously supposedly it's been patched but for me i'm, I'm round about i mean my, my fastest lap around paul ricardo i think was in the audi with the tow truck was about a 53 2 but it was extremely 
difficult to balance the Audi. Extremely difficult, even on max wing around this track. When you got to the uh, the corner at the end of, of the Mistral straight, it was so, so dodgy. Now, since that patch, um, I'm running a very similar setup, but it's a lot more stable. Now, that stability is aiding me to be better around the rest of the lap, but I am losing the straight line speed. So I will share a lap with you guys from before the toe and um, before the toe was patched and then share a lap with you after the toe was patched. And you can see the difference, you'll see the difference in time, but the handling for me personally uh, feels a lot better now, a lot more stable, but for different cars, you, you might get different effects, you know? But anyway, let's get let's get stuck into the, the hot laps, guys. Scripted TMG, I will leave this setup in the, um, I will just set up on screen for you guys as well, but I hope you do enjoy the video, man. So this is the lap that was before the actual patch to fix the toe trick. And you'll be able to see, even though this setup is more or less identical to the setup I'm about to show you at the end of the video, um, you'll be able to see the difference in straight line speed, man. Um, I've noticed with the Audi as well, it seems to only really work on five rear wing. Any other rear wing, I try to put on the car, even if I adjust the aero balance, it just feels unstable. But um not too bad of a not too bad of a first sector. I actually feel like my my lap um that I'll be showing you after is, is probably a little bit better even though the time is not as fast. Um we run a little wider here. Now you see me turn the traction off because as I hit that curb sometimes the traction does come in and actually um mess up your run down the straight which is pretty much important but we're gonna see what top speed we managed to get to and then we can compare it to whatever we do on the on the next lap um and as i said this was the most difficult part of the track for sure this corner right here was definitely scary so we hit about 174 down the straight which is not too bad and i believe i could i, I could have got a slightly better run onto that straight because before that I was actually hitting 175 so I believe I just just messed my run up to to get onto the, the um, Mistral straight a little so um there's a little bit more time in there probably my worst corner in the whole track was that left hand eyes it's just so hard always has been always struggled and this is where I mess up the lap quite a lot we take an all right line but we just never get the nose back into the apex and we're just literally in the middle of the track so the run out of this last corner really was pretty poor and probably a, a tenth and a half, almost two tenths I reckon I would have lost. And that was the 53-2, so you could definitely see there was a, a lot more time in the lap. Well, not a lot more, but I, I'll say like maybe another three tenths. I, I think there is a 52 in that lap time. Managed to hit the 53-2. And now I will go on to show you guys the lap that I did. This is after the toe, well, the toe trick in um, inverted commas. Um, patch so let's have a look at that lap so this lap is um, after the toe patch and yeah as I said I actually generally thought this lap was a little bit better let me actually put the uh, the telemetry on I actually thought this lap was a little bit better actually um, I made a few changes to the setup so I could hit the curves a little bit harder and you know not unsettle the car as much i do believe i've got a better run onto the straight but this top speed is not as fast since the patch but um the car actually feels better to me through the slow corners it actually feels nicer nice to change the direction um a bit more stability as well and i feel like i was able to straighten the car up a little bit early again i you know dip down the traction to, to zero just to get that run onto the straight. I feel like I've got a better run, but this is the, you know, a part of the lap where you definitely are gonna lose time no matter what, um, because the car is just not as quick down the straight. But for me, you know, it was less of a problem, this part of the track, it, it felt a lot more stable. Even though I think I got a little bit of a slide on here. I got a little bit of a slide on, but I felt like you know, before the patch, I, I wasn't able to really, I could only really get one line. And if I did anything apart from that one line, I was in danger of spinning. Whereas now, I feel like if I slightly turn in a bit too late, it's not that big of a deal, if you know what I mean. Again, always struggled with this corner. 
But um, yeah, last sector I feel like was a, was a little bit neater. Um, was able to get the car towards the apex of this left hander and get the nose back in, hop back over the curb, and now we can take a wide line into the last corner where we completely just messed up on the lap before. And um, yeah, this lap was a, a 53.6, I believe. A 53.6, and um, there's a, a couple of a couple of places where we definitely you know lost time compared to the first lap but in general i felt like there wasn't a massive difference between the two laps now i'd probably say you're probably losing around three to four temps um compared to before the toe trick was patched but i feel like what you're losing in straight line speed and acceleration you're still keeping that you know that core feeling of the car just feeling nice to drive which is for me personally a, a massive thing you know um some cars don't really need it like the bmw just super nice to drive anyway but because it never had the toe trick in the first place you can kind of feel you know it, it has got sometimes a little bit of understeer just a little a little tinge and you know i tried the amg without the toe trick i tried the honda without the toe trick and they just didn't feel anywhere near as nice to drive so my advice would be if you can find the perfect balance is to carry on using negative toe some cars as i said you need to find the correct balance because it, it doesn't seem to work universally exactly the same for every single car so it's sort of like a trial and error i found personally with the audi um you kind of want to run sort of a uh, uh, a little bit not as not as far negative on the front as you're on the rear even if it's just by one click and the balance seems to be extremely extremely nice but i will share this setup with you guys um so yeah let's get stuck into the setup so this is the converted setup since the update um and not many big changes but you, i could slightly go a little bit more aggressive i did actually lift the car up a little bit more off the ground i believe um and it's just a little bit more stable and definitely through the the final sector a lot more compliant you can get the nose in and you can see also on my on my lap where i set the 53 2 when i got to the last corner the car just wouldn't turn man it was just it was crazy but it was a really really fast setup but it was kind of sketchy you had to be a little bit on edge especially getting through certain sectors of the uh, sectors of the track um but if you could put a lap together then it was definitely i know guys faster than me definitely would have been mid 52s man for sure with that that setup but um i believe that this setup can can probably do I think my best sector times with the setup was actually set for like a 53-3, which wasn't too bad. And I, again, I believe, you know, maybe some of the faster guys would definitely be able to use the setup and probably hit 52. So hopefully, hopefully I can actually put a lap together and, um, you know, manage to uh, manage to set a faster time than a 53-6. Um, probably should have got a 53-5. My sector times were around about a 53-5. But I believe... You know everything everything perfect a 53 3 or 53 4 can definitely be done um hope you guys do enjoy the setup i haven't done a setup video in quite some time remember as well guys i'm streaming on twitch from now on so if you want to catch my streams live make sure you jump over to my twitch channel and i'll be uploading the highlights onto youtube but anyway it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace